Welcome into In the Kitchen with Paul and Judy. I'm Paul. And I'm Judy. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. Yes. I had a feeling that was coming. Mm -hmm. So we're actually not doing a repeat of a recipe, no. but we are doing the repeat of the name of a recipe. Yes, lemon chicken. We're doing lemon or chicken. chicken limon. Uh, and I'll tell you what, it, the other one was delicious. It was. It was really very good. And I'm sure a lot of you tried it. So I'm still waiting for the comments below that say how you did it differently. And some have already come in. So that's fine. It, it wasn't what I was craving for. I'll tell you that story after we tell you what you need. Okay, that's perfect. Is that good? Yes, and since you know the recipe, oh, by the way, Paul is first apron, and I'm second apron, mm -hmm. and uh, this is, should we say that this is inspired by Buca de Beppo? It is. It okay, is. the restaurant, if you've ever been. And we'll give you the whole story on that in a little bit. <laughs> what do we need? We need one egg. All right, one egg mm -hmm. you have. We need a tablespoon of lemon juice. So you basically need a whole lemon. We're going to cut it in half because you need three tablespoons for the recipe total. And we use the other half kind of for a pretty garnish on the plate. Now, if you want to cheat, you could always do the bottle of lemon juice mm -hmm. and do your three tablespoons that way. You just won't have the pretty garnish if you do it that way. Uh, you will need a third of a cup of all-purpose flour, not just for one purpose. <laughs> so here's our flour, and there's a funny story that comes with this. You know that we've told you that I've been eating gluten-free for the past six years. So I was sure that we had gluten-free flour in the house. Don't buy that. We already have it. Well, then we went back into the pantry, and this was the gluten-free that I remembered that we had, but it's pancake batter. And I don't think we want chicken and waffles. If we did, it wouldn't want to be le lemon chicken and waffles. <laughs> no, that would have come in handy then. So we're going to use regular, anyway, we're gonna use regular gluten flour. full <laughs> yeah, uh, flour, flour for this one. Right. Go ahead. What else? Okay, what else would you like? Uh, we need an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, next. We need an eighth of a teaspoon of paprika. Paprika, okay, got it. Check. Four, four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Ah, uh, yes. So, boneless, skinless, chicken breast fillets. We have two, obviously, but they're so large that we're going to consider this four because we're going to cut each one of them that's in half. That's what we half. do. That's how, that's how we roll. Yes. Uh, we have a quarter cup of the melted butter. Okay, quarter cup. So, we're only going to use half a stick or we're going to no, use a, a whole it's stick? it's the whole thing. It's okay, because that's a know, half a cup. I thought it was a... That's a half a cup. Yeah, okay. yeah. Do we need a whole half a cup? Yeah. Okay, because you said a quarter of a cup initially. Just checking. Oh, did I? Yeah. A oh, quarter cup. Do you want me to edit this out? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like this banter is fun. Uh, so we need a stick, basically, of butter. Is a quarter cup. No, that's a half a cup. Okay. <laughs> He's very confused. Yeah. You may recall another recipe, which I'll put in that's the upper right-hand corner. That's too much butter, said, said nobody ever. <laughs> you said it need, we need a half a cup or, or some... Uh, yeah, a quarter, quarter cup or, of milk. Anyway, milk. and I said, what he meant was... Yes. Okay, go ahead. And that was a that was a little challenge for me. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay. We need one cup of butter. All right. So you use a whole half stick. Mm -hmm, that's of correct. Butter. And specifically, I'm sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. What else do we need? <laughs> My mojo is thrown off completely. Uh, we need two teaspoons of chicken bouillon. Ah uh, yes. And we bought the powder version because we just thought that would be easier to measure. But you can obviously get the cube version of bouillon, and uh, that's measured out for you. Pre-measured mm -hmm. in the in the squares in the cubes, and then we will need. And this is got to remember this recipe. Ah. Uh, a half cup of hot water. Okay, so we've already pre-measured the water, mm -hmm. filtered water, and that's going to go in with the bouillon. Correct. When you heat the water, then we add the bouillon to it. Correct. Okay. And then one tablespoon of capers. Which is what the other recipe did not call for and one of the things we missed in the lemon chicken recipe. And there were a couple of comments in the previous recipe, and I'll put that in the upper right-hand corner too, that said, oh yeah, how do you have lemon chicken without capers? So exactly. So we completely agree. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, right. it is free to do so, and we know you wouldn't want to miss in it this very interesting banter. So be sure <laughs> to subscribe. <laughs> Here's your butter. I have to cut it in half now. Okay, okay, now, the recipe calls for two small bowls. Okay, we're going to have a wet mixture, we're going to have a dry mixture, uh, which means you're going to put uh, the egg and lemon mixture mm -hmm. uh, on, you're going to dip the chicken into there after you pound it, which I'm going to have to do. Okay, and and then you're going to have the dry mixture in here, and that's going to be the topping that you put on it. Which will include the flour, the garlic powder, and the paprika. We didn't feel like a small 
bowl would probably be sufficient. Yeah. So we got a little bit of a bigger bowl. A little bit of a bigger bowl and also one that has a bit of a flat surface on the bottom. You'll need one of these to heat up the water, which you're going to put the bouillon in. Yep. Obviously, your teaspoon and tablespoon mm -hmm. measures, and then the third of a cup measure, because that's what you're going to need for the flour. You'll need a whisk. You'll need something to pound the chicken. You need a magic fork. What is a magic fork for? That's how I get the juice out of the lemon. Oh, yeah. And then you're going to need a big skillet, which is where, the, the, that's how you're going to brown. You don't need the oven for this. So you're going to brown the chicken. Yeah, isn't that nice? And then you're going to uh, add all the liquids to it, put a lid on it, five to 10 minutes, boom, 10 to 15 minutes. And you're done? You're done. You put a little cling wrap on top of it. You pound the chicken with the flat side, not this, because this would puncture the, the cling wrap. Yeah. And you're going to pound it flat and push it out to the edges. You want it to be a uh, consistent thickness throughout the whole. Okay. All right. It's going to be loud. Okay. Now, what you could be doing while, unless you are worried about the sound, um, you could be doing the wet mixture. That's what I was going to do. Okay. But I didn't know if I should wait for you to finish pounding. <laughs> I really get my aggravation out. It's really therapeutic. These new microphones are extremely sensitive, <laughs> so I'm very much afraid that I won't be able to turn the volume down enough for you to be able to handle it. Do you want to stop the tape? Probably. Okay. Well, you keep going. Okay. I'll just, you know, decide what I'm going to do. <laughs> well, this is coming out great, Jude. Better than the first time? Oh, yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Knowing we're going to cut this in half anyway. Okay, so the chicken is ready to roll. Mm -hmm. I'm going to slice that lemon in half. And do you do a special trick that you want to do in order to put the lemon juice in the teaspoon? Uh, put the water in there so you want to yeah, do Yeah, what I want to do is I want, I want to put it in here so that okay. you can just pour it. Cool. So. Maybe I'll slice this lemon to make those pretty little wedges that you talked about. Now, we feel like when you do, once you get the technique of actually extracting the juice of a lemon, it's kind of a, it's so much fresher, isn't it? Yeah. We talked about this when we did the previous lemon chicken, and you talked about how you kind of massage and beat up those yeah. lemons in yeah. order to get the juices sort of flowing, yep. and then using a fork yep. to grab all of the juice out of it or to at least extract all the juice and somebody said oh i've never tried that before that's a great idea <laughs> and you're going to get some of those uh what do you call it seeds yeah i think this is gonna be enough okay yeah you said three tablespoons so we should be good i'll see if i have to coax some more lemon out of this yeah just a little because i have about one tablespoon okay. left if you need three altogether. Or we can cheat because we do have <laughs> we do have the bottle of lemon juice too. <laughs> I also have one little end that I'm not using for my garnish. Oh. If you'd like to cheat with that, I'll, you may. I'll do some of that. Okay. Perfect. This is gonna be delicious. <laughs> I remember when we did the other lemon chicken, the whole <laughs> kitchen smelled so good because the lemon just was wonderful. Oh, one of the ingredients I did not talk about, I reminded myself to wipe my hands. Mm. You're going to need some paper towels. And I don't mean just to wipe your hands, but uh, you want to make sure that the uh, chicken is completely dry before you start to, so that the, uh, the mixture will, the batter will stick to it a little bit better. Okay. All righty. Yep. So what's the next step? The next step... 
and measure out the flour is to whisk that all together. And you said that I just put one tablespoon. That's, That's correct. correct. Okay. That is absolutely correct. Okay. I'm going to move this down into the position. You need to have music playing in the back. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let me do that for a little bit. Okay. Because I need a dry mixture because once we get the chicken on here, okay. we're going to be dipping it in that. Okay. So the dry mixture was a third of a cup of the all-purpose flour. That is correct. Correct. And then the garlic powder and the paprika. That's the dry mixture, and that's mixed together. Correct? That's correct. Okay. Just making sure that I'm doing what First Apron needs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because he can be very demanding. Uh, he can. Okay. That's good to go. All right, remind me again of how much of the paprika? And uh, how much you of the garlic salt. shall need a garlic powder. An eighth of each, oh, an eighth of a right. teaspoon okay. of each. So it's half of one of these little quarter cup things, yeah. which is interesting. Ooh, that garlic powder is potent. All right, so that's about an eighth. Mm-hmm. And that's about an eighth. Perfect. That was probably really loud too, sorry. And then, you know what, let me get you a dry whisk. Okay. So that you... Mix it, mix it. I could use a fork too. Would you rather use a fork? Yeah, use this one. Okay. I'm using the, the cast iron skillet, which we, we love too. That's really our go-to. And... There's your dry it's mixture. It's a big one. Okay, good. I'll have a little... Some, actually, you know what? Maybe we'll do the assembly line sure. right here. Mm -hmm. oh, I haven't used that yet. And I have the other two tablespoons. Oh, this smells great. Of lemon juice. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's an egg and lemon. Yeah. I can smell the lemon all the way over here. I'm going to move this if you don't mind. Of course, I do have it right under my nose here, too. Though. <laughs> That's helping. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, just so you know the... The routine. The routine. The, the order. I'm going to go medium high. I'm going to dry the chicken breast that I just pounded out. Okay. Do that on both sides. We are hoping that this is a success. This is definitely one of our favorite meals of all time. Would you yes, say that? And you, you would um, not want to do Buka a disservice. <laughs> no. <laughs> they might never let us in any of the restaurants again. So here's what we're going to do. Up nicely. Look yeah. at the smoke coming off of that pan. It's the fun part. So you're going to do this. You're going to do this. And then. I didn't even ask if you wanted to. Um, Help you? No. <laughs> if, you, if you wanted to. Ooh, we. Oui. Yeah. There you go. Oh, okay. that's great. If you wanted to what? Did I just see light change? <laughs> I never know. <laughs> I just want to make sure this is completely coated. Okay, now it is. Okay. Are you ready to put that in the thing yet, or are you waiting for it to get a little hotter? I'm waiting for you it can just a little, bit, a little bit. Wait, now. did you do that first? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. First apron. What would you do without a second apron? I don't know. Inside you? I'd still have lemon on my nose. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to douse it Look in that at wonderful that. I'm excited. I am yeah. excited. So we're medium high heat is what we're going with. And what the recipe calls for... It's two to three minutes on each side. You're in the butter. You're you're trying to um, brown brown the chicken. So interesting that we don't have to use the, uh, the, the oven, oven at yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. I read my mind. <laughs> okay, just want to make sure it's all coated nicely. All right, so this is pretty much ready to go whenever you are. So just so I'm sure you guys can see how you we've coated the 
the chicken. Just in case, so it's starting to see how it's starting to bubble. Yeah, that's now we're really right about it. where we want to be. I know one of our th because this is this is important. <laughs> so what I did is I set the uh, timer for three minutes. Actually, I let it go about a minute, and then I set it for two minutes. Okay. I'm going to flip it. We'll do another two to three minutes. Okay. And then we'll do the rest of the magic, which will be um, heating the water, which I can probably start doing now. I'll do it. Okay. This one up here. And I still haven't used to put the bouillon in it. Is that where the yeah, bouillon goes? Yeah, that's where the bouillon goes. The and, water? And when it's hot. And two more. Um, oh, of the correct. tablespoons. Okay, good. All right, so good, we're, good. we're doing well. I have a little yolk. I'm going to have to that you want to tell deal with. Me? Yes. <laughs> so, so two guys walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> How about me picking up on that? That's great. I've got to pick up on that kind of thing. You're rubbing off on me. This is smelling good. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. I was going to say, I don't think we've ever concentrated quite so hard. <laughs> I was like, this is the least amount of talking, I think, in any recipe we've ever done. And that's not easy for us. <laughs> yeah, so medium high. Okay. Just making sure everything that was out has been used. Check, check, check. This and this and lemon. And then our little garnish. This is done, and this is where I'm going to use, oh, how much of the, how many uh, teaspoons or tablespoons of the bouillon again? That would be uh, two teaspoons of the chicken bouillon. Right, I'm going to turn this over. Oh, look at that. That <laughs> looks beautiful. That looks amazing. You know, what's interesting is I was so worried about the splatter, because I'm used to the splatter when we're doing the fillets, the steaks. But I said, I think you have to get a splatter guard ready. It's not a problem at all. That looks really it good. It looks beautiful. I wonder if you want to turn that one to brown it a little bit more on yeah. that one side. Sure what do you can. think? Yeah, it's the presentation side. Yeah, exactly. That side there of the pan might have been hotter. Could as well. be. Could very well be. Oh, it's, it's heating. I can see it steaming. So do you think you're ready for that to go in and just mix around? Yeah, mix it around, just so, so long as it dissolves the bouillon. Right. Two teaspoons. Yes. I like your little teaspoon thingies. <laughs> I do, too. They're kind of loud when I tap how, them against how, uh, the glass. How long has that been in the family? Uh, Ellen gave those to us for Christmas one oh. year, and I love them. Okay. I'm just going to check because we don't have them. So all we have left, oh yeah, and you said, I'll use this whisk will come in handy second time. And you said the rest of the lemon, correct? Look at our little children. <laughs> they look good. I'm glad you turned it over to get yeah. a little bit more brown. It's hotter on that side for sure. I'm going to go ahead and let the seeds go in if they're going to go in. Is that, oh, no, I, actually, I guess I don't have to. I'm going to go through my little whisk. Nah, they're going to go in. I want all that lemon juice in there. Oh, uh, look at that. And you're saying that that then goes over this mm -hmm. and then capers. And then serve. Well, the capers will be right before you serve it. What right. we're going to do is we... We wanted to heat them up, remember? A little bit. Yeah, just towards a little, the end. At the very, very yeah. end. So what's going to happen but is... But not just on the plate. No, no. Yeah, okay. All right, calm down. Remain calm. We're going to pour <laughs> this over here. Yep. And then we're going to... When it comes to a boil, we reduce the heat. We put a lid on there. Oh, yeah, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay. It says 10 to 15 until it's done. Yeah. Basically. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> okay. Right, how are we doing on our time? 
Another 30 seconds. Woohoo! My goodness. Mm. I love our pan. <laughs> <laughs> so many great steaks have been made in that pan. <laughs> I'm going to get some of the water. It is the go -to. Okay. Judy, would you the yes. second apron like to have the honors? Yes. I would love it. So I just pour okay, it right well, over? Turn this one off. No. Yep. Both of them. All over. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's also going to be basting in those Ooh, juices. Fantastic. By the way, this Fantastic. this is the lid of uh, Robert Irvine's everything pan that we talked about. It fits over the it fits on this perfectly. Yeah. Okay. One chicken got all of the all of the seeds. All right. What I'm going to do it says 10 to 15. I'm going to set it for eight, and then you can throw some capers on there. How about that? I love it because I need one tablespoon of the capers. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. I got rid of some of the caper water no, I so I could get... Is it boiling? Yes, I need to reduce the heat. Because if you can't stand the heat... It's asking us to do this for 10 to 15 minutes. Right. I love the way they say this. 10 to 15 minutes or until the chicken's done. <laughs> well, at least it gives you a gauge. So I think that these are pretty thick. It might tend towards the 15 Okay. But right now it's sort of basting and, and it's simmering. Yeah. You know, just simmering in there. So. Oh. Yay! I'm go a little bit lower even This will that. be one we make a lot. I think so too. This will be a go-to. So we have about a minute. I'm going to let you put warm the capers. Okay, good. Uh, the recipe, full disclosure, said add the capers at the end when you've already put the chicken on the plate. And I thought it might be just kind of fun to have them warmed, warmed up, up a little bit and sure. within the sauce. That's the way I feel like it's delivered when we get it. And also, because it'll probably make it into the outtakes, uh, it, it was the first apron me who was an idiot about the butter, <laughs> how much it was, <laughs> half cup, quarter cup, whatever. <laughs> Just put some butter in Just the pan. Just put some butter in there. <laughs> no, that was funny. <laughs> But I did say to Paul, when we had turned off the cameras, just waiting for the 10 or 12 or 15 minutes to go by to let this simmer, <laughs> I said, I think this is the least amount of talking that we have done. We were so we were we're mes mesmerized. So hard, <laughs> which is a good thing. Yeah. And I think it's going to be a success. So when the, uh, you set the timer so that when it goes off, I add the capers or? You can add I, them right now. I add them now? That gives okay, you a minute you 56. Moment. Okay, cool. Ready? Yep. So I'm going to try to kind of put them on top, but you mm -hmm. know I've also got a spoon so that we can put more of the goodness, good stuff over everything when it's once served. it's plated. Ah, that's great. Yes, <laughs> and I I took the little um, lemon wedges, and I thought, oh, I might be ruining it because I haven't done this before, but Look. I want to make a little garnish. So I cut them in half without going through the other half of the rind and then just twisted it. It looks so awesome. I never do this at home for mm. a, a plate, but it, I think it's pretty. Now you have to do it all the time. Now I have to do it all the time. <laughs> now you're going to expect it. Yes. Where's my lemon garnish? Huh. <laughs> I had lemon on my face, but she did something nice with it on the plate. Okay. <laughs> so remember to subscribe. We're going to let you see how this uh, comes out, and we're going to actually eat it post hay. So those of you that follow us on our Facebook Lives on Sunday, we'll give you a full report. Yes. How do they do the we Facebook Lives? We always give a review. Oh, well, you go to, and I'll put this at the bottom of the screen, you go to facebook.com forward slash Judy Crawl Style. But basically, every Sunday at noon Eastern and 9 a.m. Pacific time, we do a live Sunday Funday broadcast. Yes. So it's, a lot of the people who watch these videos and already know that and, and see those shows. All right, are you ready? I am so ready, yes. All right, let me see how I want to... Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> Wait a minute, can they uh, see that? Uh, yes, let me look. Yes, they can. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Uh -oh. I was wondering if... Could you please use a spatula? Oh. There we go. Okay. That'll be mine. 
<laughs> You'll have the pretty one. I didn't expect the teeth to, <laughs> the to teeth work. The teeth to grab the... Oh, there you go. All right. Beautiful. It smells amazing. Chicken. Isn't that something else? Would you, would you like me to pour some goodness on you? Oh, that'd be great. Here's the uh -huh. spoon right here. Come on. I'm not sure what Actually, happened. Actually, if you just want to um, tilt the pan, mm -hmm. I can get all that good stuff on there. Oh, yeah. I made a little bit of a mess. But that's when chefs t get out their paper towels, right? I still have one. Nope, I used them all, <laughs> I used them all up. <laughs> I'll get mine. I think I have it right there. Okay. Oh, that looks so good. Bon oh. appetit. All right, there we That's go. That's French. There's one. And there's two. And there's three. And there's we'll give one. you a full report on <laughs> Sunday, February 28th. Isn't that pretty? Mm. Lemon chicken made the Buca de Beppo style way. Love it. See you next time for In the Kitchen with Paul and Judy. We hope you try the recipe and make a comment below. Let us know how you liked it and how it compares to yours. Thanks for watching. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs>